Peace and blessings, Israel. A word. I'm listening to people. I'm getting calls about this coronavirus. And there's a lot of people running around and they don't know what to do. Some of them have fear. I've had people warn me, tell me to be careful. And the one thing that you got to understand is that the enemy uses fear to paralyze you, to paralyze your mind, to paralyze your thoughts as far as how do I govern myself? What should I do? What do I do? First of all, you need to recognize one thing, to whom you are committed and to whom you belong. Okay, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It won't work. We are living in the last days and the times and the troubles of Jacob. Okay, but God is going to bring us out. One of the reasons these things are happening, we are watching the downfall of our enemies, those nations that came up against us, that have robbed us, looted us, plundered us with no intent on stopping. You are watching something go on worldwide, worldwide, just like it was in the days of Moses when Israel was about to come out of Egypt the first time. When you read about the house of Israel coming out from among the nations, you're watching this thing go on worldwide, be it fires in Australia, be it the coronavirus over in Asia. You have to understand God is a man of war. He looked and saw there was nobody to help us. No one, no one. If you are concerned about the coronavirus or your health, the first thing you need to do is to understand to whom you belong and to whom you have to do. This situation is going on to bring us closer to the Most High God, for us to put our faith in the Most High God, okay? Not in the word of a man. You can watch. The, the nation's wisdom is turning into foolishness. They don't know what to do or to whom to go to, but we know whom we belong to. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, lean not on thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. You acknowledge him okay it's so crazy if you watch the way of the world you would be just as confused as the rest of them but we are in it but not of the world we're not conformed to the standards of the world but transformed by the renewing of our spirits our hearts our mind by the word of god by the holy spirit okay don't let what a people tell you, take you running willy nilly, okay? Right now, there's a purging going on. Right now, we're being refined. We're being guided in our faith. We have to lean on the Word of God. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, the Word of God. Who strengthens us. Instead of being, oh my God, somebody sneezed, you treat them like the enemy. Let me tell you something. My father holds the breath of life and death in his hand. You understand? There's no escaping God. And his was deep. Don't get stressed out. Well, I don't have as much money as the next guy. Let me tell you something. Riches does not keep death from the rich man's door. Okay? When God comes, God's a man of war. And that 400 years is up. He's coming back for Yasharel. But he's purging us. He's preparing us. And right now, brothers and sisters, you need to take the word of God, put it on the doorpost of your spiritual heart so that that angel of death will pass over. Let it pass over. Don't put your trust in horses and chariots. What's that mean in your riches? How many rich people have you seen die? Okay, right along with the poor man. A lot of people tripped about Kobe Bryant. I mean, he's a man among any other men. He had four, $600 million, could not stop death, could not stop death, because we, when God requires your spirit, your soul, there's nothing that can stop it. It doesn't matter how so-called intelligent you are. It doesn't matter how much you have. None of that matters. But what does matter is you need to know the word of God. While we're going through this tribulation, while we're watching it, remember, a thousand will fall at thy right hand, ten thousand at thy feet, but it shall not come nigh thee. You shall simply witness the sinner's reward. In the book of Second Esdras, it talks about God judging Asia. God judging Asia. 
Well, Asia grew rich. They grew rich. You got all these people running around with these cell phones, iPhone 5, iPhone X, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, whatever the crap. And these people growing rich, rich, rich. Okay. Off of who? Off of who? Remember when you read in the book of Revelations, that whole Babylon, mystery Babylon, she made the merchants of the world rich. Well, whose money, whose who, who's labor, what were they getting rich off of? Who? Somebody had to be giving up the money. Somebody had to be supplying these merchants' riches. Okay? Hmm. I wonder, would it have been a group of people much like ourselves? They have shut down Mecca. They've shut down Mecca, which... For an Israelite, we don't have anything to do with that, but it's showing you the power of God and to whom we have to do. God's grace show the entire world. There is a God who is God. Okay? At the same time, a lot of us, we have to place our faith in God. This is refining us. It's taking us through that fire. Okay? To bring us out. To bring us out. Many people who are rebels are going to end up separated out because they rebel against the word of God. Put not thy trust in horses and chariots. Don't put your trust in the arm of man. The man of war, the Lord of South Boeth, has come. It's a reckoning that we're looking at. 400 years is up. What did you expect that was going to happen? If you look in the time of Moses, when Egypt was getting ready to have to give up Israel, whom they did not want to let go of. Pestilence was running. It was running. Okay? But God created a distinction between the Egyptians and the Israelites. Brothers and sisters, put your faith in the word of God. Put your faith in the word of God. Put your faith in the Most High God. Don't try to run around bragging and boasting that, well, I did it. No, 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 no. The wisdom of man ain't nothing but foolish folly to God. All my knowledge True knowledge is coming from the Most High God. It's revelation knowledge. Any wisdom I have, it's revelation wisdom. It is not mine alone. It is the blessing of the Most High God. See, Israel was known to have wisdom and understanding. The nation was known to have wisdom and understanding, which was our strength. Where did the wisdom and understanding come from? From the Word of God, from trusting in God, from our faith, from our knowledge of the Word of God, and our faith in the Most High God, okay? And having that Holy Spirit endued on us. Brothers and sisters, you're going to hear many reports, many reports. The tribulation has begun. Okay, but remember to whom you have to do. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. It won't work. You have to put your trust in the Most High God. Know His Word. Speak it. Make that thing line up. I'm a child of the Most High God. You're a child of the Most High God. It doesn't matter what man says. You can listen to these people. They sound so foolish. It's like, Remember, the curse, the curse is no longer on Israel. If the curse isn't on Israel, remember, God said he was going to put it on the enemy. That's what you're witnessing, brothers and sisters. That's what you're seeing, beloved. But it's also a refining time. It's a refinement. We are going through the, uh, the furnace. We're going through the furnace, the furnace, and we're being walked back closer and closer to the Most High God. You have to know the Word of God. Study it and ask God to increase your faith, increase your understanding, to give you wisdom, not to the harm of somebody else, but to His honor and His glory. Anything I know is not of myself. All the honor, all the glory go to the Most High God who shares His Word of life, Yeshua HaMashiach, and the Ruach HaKadosh. All honor. Anything that I say that is correct, it's from the Most High God. It is not from me. There's no vain glory and nothing to be puffed up about. But if I do get puffed up, hmm, I'm puffed up about the Most High God. He is God. There is no other God beside him, before him, or can come near him. And his word, his word go out, don't come back void. His word will last forever. So no matter what these people say, because they're saying a whole lot of mess. Remember, the devil is the prince of the air. 
He's the prince of the air. If you notice, they try to keep everybody's adrenaline on 100. Now you got to run from this. Now you got to run from that. I'm a child of the most high God. I'm a child of the most high God. I trust in the Lord. I'm not trusting in the word of man. You brothers and sisters, you be encouraged. Don't worry about a coronavirus. We got somebody called Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of God. Okay? And if death comes to the door, we're going to take his word and put it on the door of our hearts, the door of our spirits, the door of our minds. So when that death angel goes by, he just pass on by. The death angel has come for the enemy nations. He's not coming for Israel. Israel is supposed to go back to God, recognize who God is, the power of his word, his Holy Spirit. And any nation, any Gentile that follows after the word of God, they too shall be covered because God does not lie. Anybody that puts his trust in them, in him, they shall not be disappointed. We shall mount up with wings of eagles. Okay? We shall walk and not faint. You got to remember to whom you belong. Okay? Because you ain't seen nothing yet. And this is not from a man that somebody who thinks they're in power can stop it. They can't stop it. They don't even understand it. Just like God put Pharaoh on the throne at that time so that he could show his power. There was a time that the nations that took us, you were put in that position as punishment. Now punishment is over, but they don't want to let go. Okay. God got it in their hearts, just like they, he did with Pharaoh. Because he's going to show them there's a God who is God in Israel. And any and all people who follow him, any Gentile nation that follows God, they will not be disappointed. Brothers and sisters, you be encouraged. Just a word. Shalom.